Hey everybody, Tab. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be filming in my new setup. This is the first video I'm doing. It might not be the first video that you're seeing though. I'm not sure when this is going to go up, but today I'm going to shot my stash and um, you know, do makeup look. So I recorded setting up this whole thing here. Um, so if you didn't see that or if this is going up, I don't know. But anyways, so I moved all my makeup out of my office. This is my bedroom. And I set it all up in here. I've got my, I'm actually sitting at a coffee table, so I'm on the floor. But that was the only table that I had and it works. Um, I like sitting on the floor, so I just don't like getting up from sitting off the floor or sitting on the floor. But I came in here to start filming. I sat down and I was on my phone because I'm like in work mode right now. So I was like talking about stuff for my business. And I heard, you know, like, cats will shake their head and you hear like their ears flapping <laughs> and I heard uh, my cat I'll put a picture of him in here but I heard um somebody's under my bed so if you hear an ear flapping or me get up to let him out that's, that's why so what I'm gonna do but when I like I was saying when I set this up I did a video organizing my collection I've been I noticed I've been looking at the viewfinder this entire time cool professional but I had been using some stuff for, that I was trying to use up and I want to use some different stuff now because I'm kind of tired of the same old thing. And there's also some stuff that I need to try out for an upcoming video um, where I review the stuff that I got in my last haul. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, also let me know if you watch Shop My Stash videos, if you want to see me like picking the products or if you just want me to show you what I did. I don't really know. I don't, I watched a few of them, but it kind of people do different things. So let me know um, if you, how you want me to do that. Cause I'm thinking about doing one of these like every month or so and kind of picking a new rotation. So for primer today, I actually have one primer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. And then for foundation, I'm testing this out. And this is the newest one that I have. It's the NYX um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Or like, ooh, I can do like an artsy shot. Like if I just, I think I'll do that. Look, I just duck out of the way and then, <laughs> then this newest concealer that I have, it's the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So they had the regular camo concealer and they came out with the hydrating one. I like this so far from what I've used it. For under eye powder, I'm going to use the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. So I need to file my nails too. They grow so fast, that's why I don't... I like acrylics or like gel nails. I think that would be really cool but uh, my nails grow so fast that's ridiculous like I would have to be redoing them every week I think I'm just gonna use that powder all over instead of trying to find a different face because the one that I like I need to repress it though I was gonna use this elf um, I don't remember what this is called the beautiful bear finishing powder I think it is and it's like on its last legs I need to repress it so I can use up the rest of it I have a backup but I really don't want to open it because I still have this one so then my other powders are like um, pressed like powder foundations and that's a little bit too much. And setting spray is when I use the Milani Make It Last. And then I think for bronzer, because um, if you saw that organizing my makeup video, that I, the only like single bronzer that I have is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. But Physicians Formula is not cruelty free anymore, so I'm just gonna like try to use that one up. I've hit pan on it, so I'm just gonna try to use it up um, when I'm not filming. So I'm going to be taking this one from uh, this one from ColourPop. This one's kind of light, like I mean, even as somebody as pale as me, this is really light. Um, and it's in the shade Private Party, and I'll probably use this palette too for eyeshadow. And then for blush, I'm gonna use this Elf. I'm pretty sure this is called the Primer Infused Blush. And this is the shade Always Cheeky open it so you can like see the shade and this is fairly new I just haven't um, used it much because I've been trying to use up one of my older ones and then I think just to keep it simple I'm going to use the highlighter that's also in this um, Z palette from ColourPop and I forgot what it's called it is Silvu Play and I use that for my inner corner too that's why I kind of keep it in there I, didn't, I don't see any sense in buying a shimmery white eyeshadow when I have highlighter. This one I am testing out is the e.l.f. Um, wow Brow in the shade Taupe. So 
like a brow gel. And then I have um, this, also this e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This one's almost used up, but I have two backups that I found in, when I was uh, cleaning up my makeup. So um, it's not going to wear anytime soon. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use something different today. This is the Eye of Horus Dynasty Brow Define. I don't know if it only has one shade or what, but it doesn't say what shade it is. But this is, I got this in a Pettivore box, but Eye of Horus is a pretty cool brand. I just haven't uh, bought anything from them. They are a little bit on the higher end side of things. But I feel like this is one of those pencils where if you had like darker brows, then it would work. But you can also use it really light to, um, you know, if you have lighter brows. An eyeshadow primer, this is the only one that I have. This is the Anastasia eyeshadow primer. I really like it. I don't even know, is this limited edition? But this is like, you have to use literally the tiniest amount. Um, like barely just tap your finger onto it and that's plenty. Get crazy real fast. And the packaging on this is not the best because it kind of like explodes out of there. I use this Ulta Classic Felt Tip Liner. This Ulta brand is cruelty free and they have a lot of vegan options. Actually, if, you, if you're in the store, well, you can't go to the store now, but... Um, but if you're in store, a lot of their displays will say vegan on them um, next to where the product, like where the price and stuff is. So check there, um, or you can have to read the ingredients, which kind of stinks. Because it's not as easy as reading ingredients on food. It's like a lot of hidden stuff in there. Then I'm gonna use this Pacifica Dream Big mascara. This is not my favorite, but I'm just trying to use it up. I do wanna try a different mascara, so. If you have any suggestions for vegan and cruelty-free mascaras, let me know. I know there's a few that are on my radar that I want to try. Um, I just can't... I'm just trying not to buy anything right now until I use stuff up because uh, money. And then I am doing the... Um, so I can't really pick like a lipstick that I'm going to use for the next month because I'm doing that um, different one every day. So which one have I not used yet? Yeah, I think I'll use this one. It's the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Grim. This is really, this one kind of lived in my purse for a while, so it's all kind of rubbed off and the top of it's all scratched. So that's all I've got um, to pick, I think. Hope I didn't miss anything. I try to get all this stuff out on a certain place on my desk because once I take my glasses off, that's it. I can't see nothing. So I'm still kind of getting used to this setup. This is the first time I'm actually doing my makeup on it. And I think it's a good idea to have a, a dedicated space. Do I need to shake this? I don't know. I'll shake. Yes. On Instagram, I posted about this foundation and they said that their pump doesn't really work and um, mine doesn't really either. <laughs> like it comes out a little bit, but it's not like a normal foundation pump would come out. I think it's good to have a separate space because, or like a dedicated space, I should say, to filming and stuff because it's easier for me to not have to move everything around because this ring light kind of travels all over the place. But I also have new soft boxes on the other sides. So hopefully this is not like washing me out. They're not super bright. Like, well, they're bright, but they're not overly bright, I don't think. So um, foundation has not been wanting to sit on my nose lately. It's kind of been dry and scaly. So I've been trying to like exfoliate and I always use the Pixi Glow Tonic. It's like a, it's an AHA toner, which kind of AHAs dissolve the dead skin on the, on the surface. And I th it helps. I can notice, I notice the difference when I don't use it, but I don't know. I also want to try something else. Um, Tashina from Logical Harmony did a sponsor post with uh, Yes2. Oop, that just pumped out way too much. Oops. But um, that brand called Yes2, they just released a toner with um, brain, with AHA and BHA, which BHA is salicylic acid. So I th think I'm going to try that because well, I'll have to look at the ingredients though because the Pacific Glow Tonic, or Pacific Jesus, my brain is not on today. The Pixie Glow Tonic has a lot of um, fragrance, and that's not good for your skin. 
But I'm also trying to be careful of toners and things that have alcohol because it's also not good for the skin. And also like setting sprays, they pretty much all have alcohol in them um, just to make it evaporate faster because alcohol evaporates pretty quick. I do want to try the other e.l.f. concealer, the not hydrating one, or the e.l.f., the, I guess it's the camo concealer, but I've heard that there's a discrepancy between the shade names, so this one I'm using Fair Beige. So I don't have to look and see. And then this next foundation, if you're interested, I am in the shade Porcelain, which is uh, 03. Which is that the same as... Because I got that one at the NYX store in, in Las Vegas, and I think that... Yeah. So I thought that this foundation of this NYX Total Control Drop Foundation, this one I'm like almost done with, but it is... Um, in the shade 3 porcelain also, but I thought this one was a little light, but maybe it's not. They And they matched me for this uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and that is the first time I've ever bought foundation where they've matched me and it actually matched. Because <laughs> like usually they'll match me in the store and they'll be like, oh yeah, it looks great, and then I go outside and it's like, oompa loompa. But in applied makeup like this in a while, I've been just doing like something light, and I haven't baked in a little bit, so it doesn't look too bad. I also need a new powder brush. This one is ancient from Eco Tools, like there's not even any name on it anymore. And this is probably like the first powder brush that I ever got, and they don't make it anymore. <laughs> but I really like it. I like the bristles on it, so like all my brushes are either Eco Tools, Real Techniques, or Elf. And I've got like maybe a couple. Um, Sonia Kashuk brushes from Target. They make pretty good like blending brushes. Do need to wash my brushes soon. I can barely see the viewfinder. I'm, like trying to make sure it's still recording because there's not a light flashing on this side. Let me know. But if I squint, I can see the timer counting down. <laughs> Which I am very thankful that I have a new camera because my old one well it broke, but um, it didn't have one of those flip out monitor things. So like this kind of video is almost impossible because I'd never knew if it was recording or in frame or in focus or anything. Um, I actually had, I would keep it set up on like behind my desk. And then behind that, I had these boxes like precariously stacked up on the windowsill. And then another mirror, like a stand up mirror like this one behind it, the camera so that I could look in the mirror and see that was, that was um, something else. But that camera fell off of this ring light and while the while the lens was out and it broke. I'm gonna be really careful with this blush. And maybe I should rearrange this palette <laughs> because it's it's dangerously close to that black eyeshadow. Um, this oh this blush is bronzer, what am I talking about? I don't Oh yeah, it's kind of it's, this is really light bronzer, so if you are super, super pale, um, this might be the one to go with if the other ones are too dark. But also, maybe it's just like user difference, but this bronzer is really powdery, whereas I'm used to using that butter bronzer, which is more like buttery, you know. So my old blush brush was from Wet n Wild and they're not culture free anymore, so I got rid of this um, blush brush that I was using from them. And it's similar to this one that I found just laying around from e.l.f with this kind of like angle. So I'm gonna test this one and see. I don't think I've used this yet. I'll test this one and see if I like it as much. The only thing is this one has a little bit floppier bristles. So maybe it'll work about the same. I hope it does because I like this kind of. Yeah, it's okay. This blush is kind of on the pinker side that I like. Maybe um, if I get another shade of this, I'll try more peachy because like Milan and Luminoso is my favorite and that's the one that I talked about that I was trying to use up because it is the oldest product in my collection by far but it's still going it's still good yeah I'll keep this brush it's pretty good I haven't used this as a highlighter in a while I just mainly use it because it's in this palette as a in like an eyeshadow a pretty bright highlighter might have went a little overboard but that's fine see most people put setting spray on like very very last. I don't know. I can't do that because it gets my 
like it re-wets my mascara and eyeliner and it just creates a mess. So I do all my face first and then do setting spray. I used to have a book on my desk that I can do this with, but palette works fine. I think some YouTubers that have like an electric fan, like one of those handheld ones, I'm like, that is so extra. And if my glasses is back on to, um, the camera's probably gonna stop recording in a minute. Cool. Put my glasses on to do my brows so I can make sure that they're even. I feel like it's a little easier when my glasses are on. I went ahead and stopped it myself. Oops. Went ahead and stopped the recording myself so that way it wouldn't turn off. Okay. So, um, onto brow pencil. I think I can like zoom if that would. Can you still see what I'm doing here? Yes, bingo. Pencil I've got to be really, really light with it because you can you can definitely use this if you were a brunette. I need to um, do a little trimmy trim, a little shapey shape, because brows are like um, large and in charge right now. This pencil is kind of waxy though, so I have to spoolie a little. Not perfect, but um, it'll do. This eyeshadow primer is. Like, just a teeny tiny little like this is enough if that's even focusing like that's enough for your whole eye <laughs> I blend this stuff really fast because it dries really fast and I store it like upside down in that little cup thing because if you don't it, it just goes everywhere so do you think that makeup has just improved in general because and when I started doing makeup and like just learned about eyeshadow primers and stuff like I don't know if it's because I've improved at applying it but I think that makeup in general has gotten better quality over time because like before I would have eyeshadows crease and like you know stuff would like disappear off my face but now I feel like it's a lot better I don't know if it's just me or if like the makeup itself has improved even though, I mean, even in like, I don't remember how long I've been using makeup, like not even 10 years. Well, I really, that's a lot of this eyeshadow. A little brighter than I was going for. One thing I am nervous about with having this table though, is that my cats are gonna sit on it. I mean, I would tell because it's, it's a like dark brown, almost black. So I would tell if there was hair on it, but still like a, eh. I mean, they could have been on my table all along in the other room and I wouldn't even have known if it wasn't in there, so. They're usually pretty good about not bothering stuff. Like when they were kittens, though, if you could not sleep with the door open at night because they would be like on shelves and like knocking stuff over. The shadow that I just used was ColourPop Paper Tiger. I haven't looked at, uh, that was loud. I haven't looked at ColourPop's website in a while, so I don't know if, what they have. I, I know they're not shipping orders right now as I'm filming this, but um, I just haven't looked to see what they have because it's like I just kind of quit looking because they were launching so much stuff and I was like, eh. But what I thought was really weird, they did a collab with Emily Noel 83 and I think a few other people for like lip bundles. But they never advertise it on social media. But they talked the heck about I mean, unless I didn't just didn't see it. And I follow them on Twitter, but they did not say anything about the cloud with Emily Noel or anything, so I, I thought that was a little a little strange. Like everything they post on Twitter that was like memes. And no, I did not have any direction with this makeup look. I'm just kind of throwing some stuff on, kind of going overboard with the color. A bunch of videos planned out for this space. So that last shade was Top Notch. That's what it's called though, I'm not calling it Top Notch. <laughs> um, and then, let's see, I'm gonna take this Makeup Geek shadow in the shade in the spotlight. I'm liking those new Makeup Geek shadows though. But I've just, not just makeup stuff too, like I have a, I ordered some stuff from Grove Collaborative, which I'm pretty stoked about, and um, I don't know, just some other, I'll probably do all my sit down videos here if I'm not like vlogging or something. So I used that highlighter for the inner corners and then for um, my brow bun, I used the Makeup Geek shade in So Pale, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, that's like the only, um, 
light eyeshadows that like show up on me, so. Yeah, I really like those new Makeup Geek shadows. They are pretty good. I can definitely see myself hitting pan on in the spotlight. Okay, just try to do a wing. I probably cut that out, but um, turned out okay for not having done a wing in a while. Ooh, this one's not so good though. Let me try to fix it. Just the tip of this eyeliner is kind of getting a little weird. It's a little better. I'm not gonna try too hard. Because <laughs> if you try to fix your eyeliner, it doesn't, it never works. All right, mascara and everything is on. It's now onto the lipstick. I just try to spoolie my eyebrows like this. That's not how that works. All right, so this is the finished look. So if you've watched this long, let me know what you think and comment down below what kind of videos that you want to see me do in this new setup, uh, makeup type of videos, or any kind of sit down, talky, whatever kind of stuff. So give this video a thumbs up if it was interesting or helpful and subscribe if you missed any other videos and check out my Instagram at Askland, also my business, cruelty or my business Instagram at cruelty I'll see you in the next one. Bye.